Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you a healthier version of the pizza apple strudel that I made. And this one's going to be for my daughter because she's always looking to get a little healthier with the grains, with the, uh, with the sugars, and more of a natural sugar. So this is what this recipe is going to be about. Uh, instead of using organic unbleached flour, I'm going to be using uh, a very beautiful light spelt flour and the beauty about this flour is that it's so rich in flavor it has a nice rich nutty flavor it rises beautifully and it still holds all of its its integrity with nutrients so we're going to start off with uh, I'm going to make a small batch so I'm going to have about three cups of flour I am going to use three cups maybe three and a half and this is going to be able to give me a dessert plus something else for her. Now, if you find the spelt is too expensive, what you could do is maybe mix uh, spelt with some whole wheat. And the whole wheat still has the germ in it. So it's a healthier version when it comes to flour. That means you're not just having plain flour. You're having flour with some uh, nutritional value to it but I am gonna do just belt for now so I'm gonna do three here we go three cups of spelt flour and for this I'm gonna put one package of quick rise yeast And we're not going to make a firm dough. This is going to be a very soft dough. A good pizza dough should be soft and not hard. It's going to be easier to stretch and easier to rise. And it's going to make a nicer dough. So now I'm just going to put my hook and mix this up. I am not putting any salt because salt will destroy the yeast in the flour. So I'm going to just put some maple as soon as I mix this up a bit oh sorry guys never fails right I'm gonna put one two, three tablespoons of olive oil, and one tablespoon of maple. That is going to be my sugar replacement. It's a healthier way of adding sweetness. There we go. Lock this up. And we're gonna and we have a cup and a half of warm warm water and I'm gonna slowly add it and if I see uh, that my uh, dough reaches the texture that I like I will stop or I will use all of it but I say put a little at a time so you don't get a soggy mess I am going to take some of these dates and these are just small yellow dates uh, I think three of these make a medjool date uh, so instead of sugar I am going to be adding this to uh, my dough so I'm going to put some of this to soak there we go I'm just going to remove I'm going to remove the pits
there we go and I'm going to put them to soak with a little bit of water and this is going to make it just a little easier to uh, to blend and make a nice little paste nope oh, that was a moment right I threw my date on the wrong side so this is an easy way of replacing white refined sugar and I know that a lot of you uh, white sugar is actually sorry uh, by using animal bones so a lot of you don't even want to use the white sugar here in Montreal we're pretty lucky because they don't but uh, this is a nice way to replace your sugar and it's going to be that much healthier for you sugar is still sugar even if it comes I mean it's still going to be sweet even if it comes from a fruit but it won't be that processed white sugar that you find out there it's just a healthier sugar and I'm going to use quite a bit of these dates because if I have extra my daughter could always throw some of it in a smoothie and I remember uh, Freely Banana Girl she used to make uh, Daterade I think there's still a lot of people that do that instead of buying those horrible drinks that they tell you that they're so great for you especially if you're running what are those drinks called Erica? Gatorade. Gatorade. You can make yourself some Gatorade and you're gonna get all that you need just by using dates and nothing that's got chemicals and God knows what else that's in those bottles. And you know what? I'm guilty. I remember when my daughter Erica was in karate as a little girl I used to treat her with those Gatorades, so God, I wish I could just go back and smash myself in the forehead. Sometimes what they tell you is good for you really isn't. So this is a nice natural way to get that sugar and the benefits. I don't know if any anybody knows how much benefits there is in dates, but there is a lot of benefits in dates. A lot. I'll probably list some for you. Okay, so we're gonna just add water to this. I pretty much used almost a box. There was some missing, but I pretty much used almost a box of this. And when you're gonna blend this up, uh, if you're gonna have leftovers, it's always best to blend it with some filtered water. You don't want to use tap water because tap water has chlorine and all that other junk. Okay, I pretty much used a whole package, a whole box of these mini dates, and three of these usually make uh, make a medjool date, and these are just as good. They're delicious. These taste like caramel. When I say these taste like caramel, oh my goodness, they're so good. So I am using pretty much a whole box, and I'm going to soak them now with some filtered water. Here we go. Filtered water. And that's going to help soak these up and then I'm going to turn them into a paste. And if you didn't want to make a paste, you could have also taken them, breaking them apart and just lay them right on your dough. So there's another way you can do it. But we're going to turn this into a paste so I can spread it out nice and even. Ooh, I wish I could put that in my mouth. Okay, um, so I'll see you in a bit guys. Okay, so I punched down my dough again. Uh, now because this, you see how soft this dough is? Because this is a very soft dough, it's a matter of getting used to it. So you've got to be able to make this rise in a place where it's not going to stick on you because it is very sticky dough. So your best bet is to have some very good parchment paper floured. There you go. See how sticky that can get? Floured and then let your dough rest on top and keep checking it and once you see that it's risen again you can punch it down again but do keep that dough floured well otherwise it will stick everywhere for you and the whole idea of having this very soft dough is because when you eat this dessert 
it is going to be just scrumptious. So, um, matter of getting used to it, but you can do it. Just keep a good parchment paper flour. Lay your dough on top, cover it, and let it rise again. So I'm just going to push it aside, and I'm going to come back to you when I'm ready to stretch out this dough. Okay, so look how beautiful my dough is rising again. So I'm just going to leave it here until I'm ready. Just make sure it's still covered. It's a sticky dough, guys, so you have to be careful when you're lifting up this bag. There we go. I'm just going to sprinkle some flour on top so it doesn't continue sticking on me. It's just a matter of getting used to this dough. I know you're saying, why so sticky? Well, you don't have to make it as sticky as I do. If you want, you could simply... Um, make it a firmer dough but I like it this way because it comes out really nice okay I'm just gonna cover that and now here are my dates they've been soaking I do still have some water I separated the water now this you don't have to throw away you could actually put this in smoothies you could drink it it's nice and sweet it's almost like a little treat if you want and the rest I am gonna blend in my in my Nutribullet. See? Nice, beautiful paste that you can use in your dessert. And this is going to be your replacement for the sugar. Just a healthier version. It's still a dessert. It's still going to be nice and sweet. But it's a replacement to your white sugar if you don't want to use it. Now, I'm making this recipe like this because it was a request from my daughter. I wish I could eat this. Day 20 for me guys. I'm on day 20 on a juice fast. But I still have to do what I got to do in the kitchen. And I end up sharing some of my cooking recipes with you. So I'm just going to put this aside until I'm ready to spread it onto my dough. I'm going to put a few at a time in here. One day I'm going to have to invest in a bigger one. And I'm going to crush a little more. And I'm going to put some raisins for sure. And I'm going to peel two of these beautiful apples and I'm going to cook them up. And again, these are going to be cooked very simple. I'm going to put a little bit of maple. I'm not going to put, uh, I probably won't be putting any butter, that's for sure. Not in this recipe. Just a little healthier. So, what do we have in this recipe that's going to be a little healthier? We have the flour. We're using a spelt flour. This is a Whole Foods. Uh, that means that they, it still has... It has more value to uh, to the flour compared to a regular a regular flour that has been basically so much benefits have been really removed from it. Uh, it's an ancient grain. It's just a lot better. It's easier to digest apparently. And and not that I don't use regular. I well I don't just buy regular flour. I make sure it's organic. And um, my husband doesn't mind what flour it is. As long as you give him pizza and bread, he's happy camper, let me tell you. He doesn't care if it's ancient or not ancient. He probably doesn't care if it's genetically modified either. <laughs> he just loves his food. Would you help me and tell me what uh, about the, uh, the spelt flour? Can you... Explain it's what the benefit a, a is. It's healthier alternative to whole, to wheat flour, and it's because it's an ancient grain. It hasn't been messed with, and it has the same um, it has the same nutrition as whole wheat, but because it's an ancient grain, it's healthier and it's 
it's also apparently tastier. It has more of a nutty flavor, right? Yeah. Does it still have its germ? Is the germ in it, or has the germ been removed by it? No, it's still there. It still has the germ. So there's a difference. Um, you know that wheat berries have like what they call the germ, and that's where the powerhouse is, and that's where all the benefits are in. And when you get regular flour, that germ is removed. Uh, so that's one of the things that's a lot healthier in making this dessert. Another one is we're going to be using our date paste that we made. We're not going to be using butter whatsoever, or if we do, it's going to be very, very little. I will check with her and see how she wants it. And we're going to create a recipe that's going to be as healthy as possible. Now, because I am not putting butter at this moment, I'm going to put some of this beautiful water that I had my dates soaking. And that's going to help cook these apples really nice. I'm going to put, um, got me some more cinnamon. Oh, wrong lid, guys. Okay, so we are going to add the cinnamon to this. And we're going to add the cardamom. There we go. There. We're going to add the salt. Here it is. We're going to add salt to this dish, to the apples. I think I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil to it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So it's going to have a nice little coconut taste to this. I think so. Okay. So I'm just going to cook this up. And, oh yeah, my maple, a little bit of maple. Can't go wrong with a little bit of maple. Yeah. And we're going to cook this down with a lid and get this all nice and tender. There we go. So I'm just going to cook these till they get nice and tender. Just want to make sure this is not sticking on me. Yeah, that's good. We're going to have dough for a small pizza for her and we're going to have her dessert that I'm sure my husband's going to enjoy also. So I'm just going to keep this covered. Actually, I'm going to get, instead of plastic, I'm going to get one of my waxy papers. Okay, so like I said, if you're afraid to make a soft dough, you see how soft this dough is? Look how soft this dough is. If you're afraid to make a soft dough like this, make it a little firmer for yourself. Because this could get sticky. If you don't know how to handle it, you're going to have this sticking everywhere. So, um, if you're willing to try, you got to keep an eye on it that it doesn't stick on you. Because it will stick to your bowl, and then you're going to have to scrape it off. Or it could stick to, stick to your paper if you don't have it floured well or oiled well. So you have to play around till you get this dough right. But this is one of the best doughs you can have. It is simply delicious, soft, better for you, easier to digest. So I'm just going to cover it with some of this paper. Sorry. And I'm going to push it back until I'm ready to flour my board and make this dessert for my daughter and my husband for sure and when you make this you can make the apples ahead of time you can start in the morning and this way you don't have to um, this way you don't have to uh, do it last minute you could have them cool off and it's going to be easier for you to make your your beautiful pizza apple turnover but a little bit of dark chocolate never kills anybody. I will put some in because it is a dessert, right? And it's not that you're going to sit there and eat the whole thing. So I'll be back in a minute, guys. I did add a little extra coconut oil in here because I'm not going to be putting any butter. Oh, maybe I should take that off. Uh, since I'm not putting any butter in the um, inside the uh, turnover, 
I did put a little extra coconut oil and a little extra maple to make kind of a sauce that I'll spread on top. And these are nice and tender. I'm just going to sprinkle a little extra. Where is my cinnamon? Everything disappears on me. I, be, I will be adding more cinnamon to the pie itself. But just a little extra cinnamon. I could even put a little bit of cacao powder on this and it's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to put this aside, cover it so it doesn't evaporate. And it's going to continue with the heat itself cooking and it's going to be nice tender apples that is going to go right into the turnover. And this time I'm going to be a little smarter than the last time. I am going to put a little bit of parchment where I am going to spread out my dough. Okay, which is going to be easier because I'm just going to grab this after I fixed it. I'm just going to grab it and put it straight onto my tray rather than trying to lift that piece of pie onto my dish. So to this, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour. And I'm going to cut a piece of this dough. I'm not using all of this, obviously. These mangoes are good. Yeah. Very good. Remember, this is a very, see how sticky that dough is? There we go. going to keep flouring it as we as we stretch it yeah, we might do it that way don't over don't make it too thin and don't make it too too thick either there we go okay so we're going to take this and we're going to spread some beautiful dates Remember, you don't have to use all of this because you have, um, you, I, I made a whole box of this, so you don't want to put all of it. And if you have extra date paste, it's always good for smoothies. Okay, we're going to sprinkle some cacao on this. There we go. We're going to put extra cinnamon. Uh, you know what goes great with sweet, right? A little bit of salt. a little bit of chocolate okay our beautiful giant raisins okay so we're gonna put some notice I'm waiting to put the apples at the end we're going to put a little bit, and it's very busy in my house today, guys. I'm <laughs> sorry if there's a little bit of noise. But we do still have to live in here. Okay, and now we're going to put our apples. Not sure how I'm folding this yet. Yesterday I folded it lengthwise. I think we're going to do it the same way we did it yesterday. Why not, right? I wanted to put it differently, but this is the way it's going right now. Okay, doesn't matter. Now, just a little bit of this fat and syrup. And now we're going to just gently pick it up, fold it that way. 
I'm going to pick it up this way and fold it that way. There we go. Beautiful. And since now it's right on my, I'm just going to show you, it's right on my, uh, my parchment. It's going to be easier for me. Now you could even close this up if you want. Kind of tuck it in and keep everything in, but you will lose some kind of juice. Anyhow, it's just easier to do it this way. But here we go, sharp knife. We're going to make nice little lines on top. And we're going to sprinkle this again. We're going to sprinkle it with cinnamon and some cacao. There we go. And I have a beautiful piece of natural cane sugar that I am going to uh, grate on top of my cream. This will do it. There we go. And again, some salt. Okay, this is going to go into the oven. We're going to preheat the oven at 400 Fahrenheit and we're going to cook it for about 25 minutes. So I'm just going to get my tray and slip this on there and this is going to be ready. Here we go. This tray here used to be from my old, my old oven I had. I did not throw it away because it comes, it's just perfect for me to put a big piece of parchment and to cook something nice and long on it. Keep an eye on it. You want it to get nice and golden and you want it to cook. So I'm just going to put this aside. It's also going to help rise a little more and then it's going to go into the oven once my oven is ready. So this is a very simple alternative, uh, healthier way of making desserts without having to, you know, a lot of people don't want to do the uh, the traditional sugars and stuff. So this is just a way of making the same recipe that I made yesterday out of uh, organic flour and lots of sugar. And uh, this one here, we use the date, the date paste. So it's going to be a more natural sugar. We use a little bit of grated natural cane sugar on top. You could buy this at any health store. It's um just a big chunk of natural cane sugar and basically you can break a piece off throw it in your tea or you can simply grate it if you want to put some on top so that's what I did I might grate a little more I have to apologize my dog is barking at all the neighbors that walk by this would have been a better grater you see instead of using the one I used and so you still get that beautiful sweetness not as sweet, but you do still get some nice sweetness on your dessert. Okay, there you go. And I'll be back when it's nice and done and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. See this? That's the date paste. You could even use it as jam in the morning. Isn't that wonderful? Okay guys, we are going to make a little drizzle for our, um, our strudel that we have in the oven. And because we're not using any, um, any powdered sugars, we're going to use a little bit of maple. We're going to use some dates. Since I have the date paste, I'm going to use some of this. There we go. We're going to use some chocolate cacao. There we go. And we're going to start blending this up. Maybe more maple. And we're going to make some kind of sauce to drizzle on top of her strudel. go 
I'm going to put just a little bit of coconut oil, not much. We're going to see what we're going to get. So, maple, dates, cacao, and coconut oil. Okay, guys. There is the healthier version of my apple, my pizza apple turnover. Now, because this didn't have the sugars where the sugars would melt down and make a nice little crust, what I'm going to do is drizzle a little bit of maple on top. Not a lot, just so that it adds a little bit of extra gooiness to it. And then I made a chocolate sauce. And because this isn't like the, uh, the powder sugar where you could take a little spoon and drizzle on top, I put it in a squeeze bottle where I could just simply add it on top like this. Oh my God, that looks so good. And this is only basically maple. It's maple, it's um, dates, and a little bit of coconut oil so it keeps its shape and it doesn't run everywhere. So this is a healthier version of my deliciousness. <laughs> I can't even talk because I wish I could just have some. And I'm gonna put leftover walnuts around for whoever wants to pick. Pretty much it. How simple was this, guys? So you don't have to use to, to make sugar. You don't to make sugar. To make dessert, you really don't need to use a lot of a lot of sugar. You could actually use natural ingredients to make a nice dessert that you can all enjoy in your family. So I hope you like this recipe guys and if you give it a try and you like it come back let me know how you like it and if you like this video give me a thumbs up share with your friends and guess what guys i'll see you in my next video for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to connie's rawsome kitchen give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends